Mm. Hey guys. Hey besties. It's your girl Kiana Monet. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. In today's video, we're doing a little mukbang mukbang. I have tried to do this like multiple times. And then I'd be like, I don't like the way I look eating on camera. So I just put it off. <laughs> but I'm doing it today because... I had a little inspiration for my girl Crystal Slays Lives. Y'all, if y'all have not seen her channel, go check her out. I'm obsessed. It's sickening how obsessed I am and how bad I'm thin, girl. Real bad. She also does custom nails, so go check out her Instagram. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I was watching her my things and I was like, I should just do one. Like, like I said, I've tried to record it three, four times. And I deleted it. She gave me the courage. Girl, I'm posting this, girl. I'm doing it, girl. Anyways, y'all, it's Saturday. I am... I'm not uploading it yet, but I just finished editing my last video for y'all. Y'all probably see that before this one. <laughs> I had a blast last night. Um, I don't want to recap because you can just go watch that video if you haven't seen it. Um, but right now, I'm cleaning up. If y'all hear that, that's my wash machine and my dryer. Um, I'm still kid-free. And the house is actually completely quiet other than the washing machine and dryer. Nobody's here but me. My mom took my car. She went out for the day. And I was like, I'm just going to clean up. I've been on the phone with my boo all morning. I'm washing my sheets, as you can see. I got nothing on my bed. No pillowcases or nothing. Um, let me tell y'all what I'm eating first. <laughs> I don't even know what I made. It's rice, um, sausage, green pepper, onion, zucchini, and egg with yum yum sauce and soy sauce. I be hungry, y'all, and I be trying to, like, meal prep. So, like, I made a big bowl of this and put the rest in the fridge. It'll last me a couple days. I eat, like, maybe once or twice. Let me close my door. All right, y'all, I closed my door so maybe y'all that sound drowned out because it sounds so bad. Y'all might not be able to hear, but I can't, and it's annoying. But, yeah, when I'm hungry, um, and I don't be knowing what I want, I'll just go in the kitchen, pull out, like, some vegetables. And I'm a rice kind of girl now because I love hibachi. And then I pull out me like a protein, obviously. Um, I wanted turkey sausage, but I had already used it, so this is all I had is beef sausage. Oh, I'm so good. I put a little yum yum sauce, soy sauce, and honey in here, y'all. See, I made a big bowl of this. This is gonna last me the next couple so days. Lately, I've been eating like twice a day. And it's like not even big meals. Like, it's my first time eating all day. It's the first thing I had all day. And I've been drinking water and orange juice. And now I got cranberry juice. Um, yeah. This will hold me over till this evening, honestly. We're going to go to the crab restaurant, seafood restaurant later. And then we're going to go hit some bars up and stuff. So, yeah, I really have been, haven't even been having an appetite for real. I feel like my body is adjusting to this diet change that I'm on. And to be honest, y'all, I'm not on a strict diet. I don't calorie count. I do look at the calories, but I don't calorie count. I'm not eating just like one egg, a grilled piece of chicken for lunch, a salad for dinner. I don't do that. I still eat what I like. And most of the stuff I like is like healthy though. Like I love mushrooms zucchini eggs all fruit you know what i'm saying vegetables i love that and i just like mix what i want like i make what i want like and it's not a lot it's not heavy um and then like i said i've been meal prepping so like when i make something like i'm gonna eat on this for like the next five days to be honest i'm gonna keep taking it to work with me just like making me a little bowl of it it works for me my biggest thing is portion yourself for me me personally it doesn't even matter what i eat like last night when i left the club i had um waffle house and i had me a sausage sandwich and hash brown i ate half of that hash brown and half of that sandwich even though that shit was nasty i was getting full off of it fast um so yeah i get full quick um 
I'm eating less and my body's adjusting to it. Like I don't have to eat three meals a day. I know I'm adjusting to it because I used to wake up thinking about food. I used to wake up hungry, like what I'm gonna eat. Before I went to work, I used to have to eat before I go to work. Now, I'm fine if I don't eat before work. Half the time I don't eat before work. Um, if I work overnight, I don't eat all night long. I'll probably heat me up a little something, whatever, like something like this I'll take with me. Like last week, I had my hibachi with me all week long. I would take me a little bowl of hibachi. I will be up all night long and then eat the little bowl of hibachi till like 6 a.m. the next day. So... all I drink y'all is water and cranberry juice this weekend is an exception because I'm drinking so of course I'm drinking tequila and Red Bull but last night I still had Red Bull and cranberry juice and then this morning I had orange juice because I needed to wake up I needed to get my life back <laughs> um, I actually had that at the restaurant at Waffle House last night and just left it in the fridge overnight um but yeah, y'all, I'm seeing a difference. I feel so much better. I'm trying not to look at the number on that scale too much. Like, I'm just pacing myself. Like, I'm not going to lose 50 pounds in one week, in a month. Like, I'm not going hardcore. I'm not at the gym bench pressing every day. Like, I'm taking my time. And But I feel good. I feel, I feel really good. I have lost 20 pounds. But, like I said, I'm not looking at the number. None of that. <laughs> I'm just trying not to look at it as like lose weight on a dime just it's a lifestyle change for me like i don't need to be eating all that crazy stuff and like i said i still eat what i want sometimes like the other day um last wednesday this past wednesday me and my cousins and my son we went to the chinese restaurant i ate what i wanted i had th i think i had like two plates that's how i say i know my body's adjusting because y'all i used to fuck up the buffet <laughs> I only had two plates and that one of the plates was hibachi like I'm like you go up there and they cook the food for you I had a plate of hibachi and then like a plate of like lo mein shrimp stuff like that I had grow like I didn't have much but today I'm just cleaning up like I said, I got my sheets in the dryer now. I'm washing my son's sheets as well. When he's gone for a few days, and which he's only gone for the weekend, he's coming back tomorrow. <laughs> um, I took him to my grandmother's house last night, or well, yesterday. Um, but when he's gone like this, I like to go in his room, deep clean it, wash his sheets. Which his sheets get just washed just as much. It, it's a bug right here. Hold on, y'all. Y'all, I had to kill a bug. I don't know what it was. It was like a little baby bug, but I killed it. His sheets get washed once a week, just like mine. But when he's gone, if I don't wash it the week, like when I'm working, I'm busy, I'll wait till he just go and wash him. Or when we out, I'll wash him. Um, like, I'll put him in a washing machine when we leave and then come back and throw him in the dryer. Anyways, I'm washing his sheets. I like to lift his mattress up because my son is two. He's in the habit of hiding fruit snacks under his mattress. And I'm not in the business of having bugs and roaches in my house. Clock that to you. So, I like to check under his mattress. <laughs> um, I don't think he's doing it on purpose, though. That's the weird thing. Like... I think he's just eating them and they're falling in the cracks because it'd be so much of it. It'd be like a lot. And I'm just like, when are you going back to eat it? Because, but I don't know. He might be doing it on purpose. I don't never know. My son is, he's a character. But yeah, I like to go in there and like wipe off like all of his toys, disinfect his toys. Especially because this past week, his god sister, we share a god sister. <laughs> She's three, so it's my god sister, and technically it's his god sister as well. Um, I don't want to get into the dynamics of that. <laughs> but she was here with us for like two or three days, and they play and stuff. You know, kids, germs, so I like to clean his toys. Um, 
his clothes are normally organized but i just want to fix the drawers a little bit because he now likes to go in his drawers and pick his own outfits out apparently the other day he pulled out like three different pairs of shorts and i'm like what you doing or he'll strip and then he'll go in the drawers with clothes i'm like why are you changing clothes what are you doing So I just like to reorganize, you know, just reset, you know what I mean? I know when he get back, he's going to mess it up. Every day my son tears his room up. But me, at the end of the night, mostly we'll clean up together. I'm like, clean up time. He'll pick up some toys. But if not, I'm going to do it because I'm his mama. Like, what? I'll wait till he's in the bathtub, for real. Pick up the toys that he did pick up, you know, get his sheets all fluffed up. Um put his bonnet in his bed well my bonnet in his bed because y'all know he liked to chew on silky stuff my grandmother had a robe on her bed and we was changing him changing his pull-up yesterday <laughs> and he was he started chewing on her robe she was like this is lalique put my robe down <laughs> but yeah y'all i just like to reset um I definitely still got a lot of stuff to pick up off the floors in here. Um, I got two cups right here, which I don't see. I got to put my stuff back from last night. My room is already kind of hectic from like working and stuff. But then when I get ready, my room gets even more hectic. And then when I come back from that, like I stripped last night, jewelry, everything. I got earrings on the floor back there. like So I need to clean up. I cleaned my kitchen already. That was the first thing I did. Well, the first thing I did was put my sheets in the washer. Um, and then I went straight to the kitchen. I cleaned my kitchen up. I finally folded my son's high chair. That's been up for like, since he was five months. But he stopped using it when he turned one. Because he's grown. And he eats in his room at his table like a big boy. So. I've been meaning to fold it and put it away for months, but again, y'all, life, work, when I'm tired, I don't give a damn about no high chair, it's not in my way, but I finally closed it today and put it under the table, and then cleaned the kitchen, and that's when I cooked, and then I washed my dishes that I used, I love a clean kitchen, love a clean house, y'all, at least I don't have to do my bathroom today, I did that Thursday. Thursday evening I did wash my like mats and rugs in the bathroom I just took those out the dryer I got to go put those back in the bathroom but my bathroom's clean it's smelling good I need to vacuum the living room and my room I need to vacuum on the floors my the living room my room my son's room and I'll go in my mom's room too Y'all know I love watching people clean up their house on TikTok. I love watching them TikTok videos. It's like a double, a double head sore because I love watching them. And I don't want people to stop making that kind of content. But at the same time, in no way am I judging. I just be like, the mess that they be cleaning, I be like, Whoa. oh my gosh. And most of the... Most of the content that I watch, people got multiple kids, and I get it. I do. Like, again, my house, when it's occupied, it's occupied. And when I'm at work, working during the week, I'll, of course, clean my kitchen, do the dishes, the bare minimum. But, like, deep cleaning, I'm not doing it until I get time, like, now. You know what I mean? So, like, when I watch other people in their houses be like, like, um, what's his name? Joey on TikTok. I think do y'all know what I'm talking about? Like, he has two or three kids in his house. Be like, and he has a dog, and I'm like, but I love watching him clean it. And like, yeah, I just feel like I could never let my household get that bad, get that messy. It's not even dirty; it's just mess, you know. Cause you in the house, kids is in the house and stuff. But then again, I only have one child. Like, you should never say never, cause you never know. Like, I only got one kid. If I have five kids. 
in the next two, three years. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what my house is going to look like. Do you want it to be messy? No, but kids don't care. They don't care. My son doesn't care. Like, the house is clean because I keep it clean and I clean up after him. My son does not give a damn. He's going to mess his room up every single day. And sometimes I will go in there midday and clean up. But there's no point in that because he'll sit there and watch me clean up. He'll sit there on his bed, watch TV, and watch me clean up. Midday cleanup. 15 minutes later, he's back in them toys, back pulling stuff out. So, <laughs> like, if you don't want a messy house or if you don't want your house to look occupied, these nuts are driving me insane. Don't have kids. But kids are going to be kids. And you got to let them be kids. They're at home. Like, not only is this your house, it's their house, too. Like, I don't stop myself from doing nothing unless he get into something stupid. <laughs> but he go in the kitchen, get his snacks. I'm not stopping you from doing anything, man. Like, this is your house, too. Like, I'm not. Your kids should not feel uncomfortable. Your kids should not have to, you know, ask you, can they get a bag of chips, a Rice Krispie Treat? Like, I think that's weird. Like, you get up and get you a snack when you want it. Unless he overdoing it, I will tell my son. He'll he'll bring me two, two Rice Krispies back to back to open. I'm like, uh-uh, you just had one. That's different. But the fact that your child even has to come to you and be like, can I have a snack? It's weird. Like, my son has his own snack cabinet. And y'all argue with your mammy. I'm telling you my opinion. <laughs> Unless you got multiple kids. Then I understand that too. Maybe like, oh, these kids eat me out of house and home. Y'all not finna sit up here and eat all these snacks. So I gotta moderate my kids. That's different. Again, I just got one. I'm not finna say what I ain't gonna do. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna have me a little system if I have like five kids from now. Like, you know, being parents is... Parenting is hard, y'all. And if you're not a parent, just shut the fuck up. We don't want your opinion. Because I remember three or four years ago when I didn't have kids. Oh, my son's not going to do this. Oh, I wouldn't have to do that. Like, girl, shut the hell up. Because <laughs> now I have a child and I have a boy at that. I'm not arguing with him. Some things, it's just not worth it. <laughs> You got to know, you got to pick your battles. You got to know which hill you finna die on, bitch, because that's like when they're like, oh, what I cook, my kid is going to eat. I'm not doing that either, because you're not going to waste my food. If you don't want what I cook, if you don't like it, first of all, you're a human being just like me. If you don't like it, it's no way I'm going to make you eat something that you don't like. Like, that's weird. Because I damn sure don't eat stuff that I don't like. When my mom cooks pork chops and turkey wing i don't eat that shit i don't like it so i would never make my kid eat that i don't care if i have to cook two separate things most times in this house we're we're cooking three different things <laughs> because my mom doesn't like the stuff i like she don't like mushrooms and cute zucchini she don't like she don't like turkey sausage turkey bacon she don't like the stuff i like cream cheese omelets i mean the omelets like bagels you know, stuff like that. Some nights she wants a steak, and I'm not a big beef person. I will eat chicken every single night. And I will air fry me some chicken, and she'll cook her steak. And then I'm making chicken nuggets for my son, or he wants spaghetti, or... My mom made a big pot of spaghetti the other night. I didn't touch it. Like, that's her business. Like, most of the time, we're not eating the same thing in this house. And that's okay. I feel like it's turned into like a parent 101 chat. <laughs> but y'all let me know in the comments if y'all agree. Like, I'm full. Alright, y'all. That's about it. I'm gonna go finish cleaning up. It is 2.41. So, I kind of want to be done with like cleaning by like 3.30. 
and then laundry of course that's gonna be like a probably till like five honestly that's gonna be like a holiday thing um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i kind of enjoy making it low-key like because y'all know i like to talk <laughs> i can't talk <laughs> y'all most of my little charms came out i got one left i'm gonna re redo them oh i got one over here too so yeah i'm gonna let y'all go i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all in my next video bye